Murphy now, but we have a new TNT champion. Adam Copeland won the TNT championship yesterday on Dynamite. So now we're going to talk about it. So with all of that being said, we have a TNT champion. You know who is the TNT champion. It's not Christian KJ anymore. Unfortunately, an end of an era. That doesn't mean that Christian Cage's character is dead. We're still gonna have that menace around the patriarchy and believing that he's gonna continue to build that thing. But with all of that being said, I was wondering what now? We saw the culmination of a 40 year feud. We saw the culmination of a match series. We saw a combination for that TNT championship. But what is next? What can we actually expect from Edge is the new TNT Championship. I am saying for a third time while I'm recording these things that a person is a championship. And I'm really sorry about that, but this is true. A person is a championship. No, I'm just kidding. It is not. I'm just an idiota. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that Adam Copeland won because honestly, it needed to happen. They had three matches and Adam Copeland won one time and I feel like he should have actually won the last and the final nail in the coffin. But the truth is, is the next title change Christian Cage as well? Or we are gonna go in direction of Adam Copeland actually finding someone young and hungry and talented and facing him and then he's gonna give the championship to him. I'm really curious how this championship reign is gonna go, actually, because it has so many directions. We can have the direction of the newcomer guy coming out, being hungry as hell, like John Cena when he debuted versus Kurt Angle and actually taking the title from Adam Copeland. We have the situation of a guy who was always hunting for a TNT championship, but he was always coming short because the patriarchy was patriarchy. We have the situation of the veteran who was always wanting to become a TNT championship for some reason. I said that the person is a championship again, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to correct myself for a fourth time. And you had so many options, but the truth is, that after we saw this culmination, I'm afraid that we are gonna go downhill. And people were saying that Adam Copeland is a little bit of a clown lately. I cannot agree with them. He's a badass, he has Spike, and he's not afraid to use Spike. So be careful what you're saying for Adam Copeland. You're not gonna let me any other choice than making myself some Spike and hitting all of you left and right. So I was just wondering, what is the direction of this championship? What is the direction of the character of Adam Copeland? What is the direction of the character of the patriarchy? And uh, what do you guys think? What will they do? Are they pads gonna split or they're gonna continue barking at each other and they're continue the feud and eventually, for example, Nick Wayne is gonna take the championship but uh, Christian Cage is not gonna be there in something weird like that happening or Sammy Guevara returning and actually being like I want my championship is back or Wardlow being like I couldn't win the AEW championship but now I'm gonna take the TNT championship so many options I'm excited about the future but the future is not so bright because there is no story behind it but I'm pretty sure that Adam Copeland is gonna take care of that. He's gonna try to build and elevate that story up between him and the next guy, him and the challenger, and he is gonna try to make everything right for us, the fans, for you, the viewer, for me, the speculative fan, and for all of us, so we can be happy and we can still watch AEW with a smile on our face while we are watching the most important thing in the company, the TNT Championship. Thank you guys so much for watching. Boom! And I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.